Hi, I'm Jackie from Ladybug Wellness. I have another clearing protocol to share with you. This one is on hoarding and addictions. And I believe this protocol may be from Raymond Grace. Um, I found it in my files. I think it was shared from another practitioner quite a while ago. Uh, seems like a pretty good one to, to use though. So if you are new to dowsing and new to energy clearing, you can just uh, listen along and intend to receive. Um, and we'll just do this energy clearing. I'll go through. Uh, I think I might add in some of my own little things here as well, because this is quite long. But uh, I'll just uh, douse and you can rest and receive. So first of all, uh, if you do any kind of dowsing or checking your own energy, you can check uh, your level of life force energy right now. And then um, I'll just go ahead here. So uh, I start off with Quartz of Atonement usually. So I, Jack Ryu, place the named or intended party into a full Court of Atonement for the purpose of uh, soul recognition, home security, location security, restoration of self, uh, optimization of divine life force energy connections. There's my little pendulum going there. We ask for amenable dissolution of these energies. That's just some simple courts of atonement to start off with. You're welcome to uh, make a list of your loved ones or just intend uh, to send this off to some of your loved ones as well. And so the first one on here is to retrieve soul fragments from all dimensions and times, clean and integrate back into the body. So anywhere your soul has been and had interactions with others, these interactions can leave bits of your soul here and there, uh, soul fragments. So. We are collecting up all of those fragments wherever they are across all time, space, dimension, cleaning them up and integrating them back into your body, into your physical body here and now. Next, we are going to intend to balance your hormones, whatever hormones need to be balanced for your highest and best good. And next, we're going to increase the blood, uh, the blood flow to the brain. And then the blood flow between hemispheres. And increasing this blood flow can bring some balance and um, get things flowing right in your body. All right. Then we're going into the mass consciousness. Scramble and neutralize the beliefs of mass consciousness and group mindset that addictions cannot be cleared, hoarding can't be cleared. Hoarding is the most difficult addiction to clear. So we're neutralizing these beliefs some other beliefs that people may have is that nothing is effective. That energy balancing doesn't work or energy healing, energy clearing, uh, however they want to word that, that they don't believe that it could work. We're just clearing those mass consciousness beliefs. There we go. Now you have an eighth chakra an inch or so directly above the head. And with intention, we're going to shift the color of this, H, uh, this eighth chakra from black to silver or to out, ultraviolet to eliminate many addictive tendencies because of the absorption of outside energies. Okay. Now we're going into non-beneficial archetypes. In your ninth chakra, which is an arm's length above the head, 
we'll transmute the colors there into gold with an iridescent like glow. And then we are going to scramble and neutralize all non beneficial archetypes, including those of hoarder, victim, pack rat, addict, PMS sufferer, martyr, hermit, loner, loser, glutton, beggar, wounded child, orphan. I'm going to add in here rescuer. That's one that I see come up on people quite a bit. Perhaps we'll add in um, a liar, deception. That's a good one to clear. Okay. Going, that's quite heavy actually. All right, and then we're going to go the other direction because we're going to apply and embed the beneficial archetypes of organizer, winner, neatnik, honor student, hero or hero heroine, a magician, companion, mediator, Olympian. And what else can we put in there that's a good one? Something honest and trustworthy. I'm thinking of saintly, maybe. Okay. Okay. And so we're applying and embedding the ar beneficial archetypes here. And getting those all installed. There we go. And then we're going back the other way again. We're clearing energies. Ancestral influences. So the 10th chakra or the earth chakra about 12 inches below the feet. Here we're going to scramble and neutralize any non, uh, any negative or non-beneficial as ancestral influences or residual energies arising from or associated with curses or spells. And we'll put in their hexes as well. Um, sabotage. Okay. Poverty, hunger, abuse, rape, oppression. I'm going to put in here a subjection as well. That seems to be coming up quite a bit on a lot of people, but having some overt control there. So scramble and neutralize these non uh, negative and non-beneficial um, ancestral influences. There we go. Or residual energies. Clearing all of that. And then we are going to transform all that has been scrambled and neutralized into the prosper into the energies of prosperity, abundance, dignity, and I'll add in there enlightenment, happiness, joy, and inner peace. Go. Getting that all installed. There we go. I'm going back to non-beneficial frequencies. We're going to scramble and neutralize all non-beneficial frequencies, including those of clutter, anger, rage, hunger, fear, self-righteousness, fundamentalism, entitlement, shame, grief, hatred of men or women, paranoia, anxiety, depression, ingratitude, selfishness. And then we're going to transmute, there we go the other way here, transforming all that has been scrambled and neutralized into gratitude, 
appreciation, respect, and honor. Yes, I'm adding in a few of my own here. All right. Um, and that is all installed. So now we're going back to non-beneficial. So non-beneficial emotions. We're going to scramble and neutralize all negative and non-beneficial emotions from this and all lifetimes associated with memories of any both traumatic and seemingly innocuous, um, excuse me, both traumatic and seemingly innocuous events. And of these events that caused or reinforced feelings or reactions of shame, low self-esteem, worthlessness, aloneness, hopelessness, and lack of self-confidence or lack of confidence. And just plain lack, that's a good one to clear as well. Okay, transform all that has been scrambled and neutralized into acceptance and understanding. That's a good, another good one to add on there. Maybe we'll add in courage here. There we go. Went round and around and around. Okay. Next, we're going to go with improper parenting. We're going to scramble and neutralize any negative, injurious, or non beneficial emotions related to, or arising from, or associated with misguided, improper, abusive, negligent, or exploitive parents or guardians or caretakers in this and all lifetimes and dimensions. And across all that is. This includes physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual forms of each, if applicable. Okay. Transform all that has been scrambled and neutralized into self-acceptance and understanding. And add in enlighten, enlightenment here. Okay. We should add in forgiveness here as well. Forgiveness is one of those things that is a high vibration that doesn't necessarily condone any kind of uh, actions by someone else, but it sure takes the energy off ourselves. Okay, there we go. And so dopamine effect is the next one. We're going to scramble and neutralize any elevated or pleasurable dopamine responses related to, associated with, arising from, or triggered by shopping, purchasing, uh, self-righteousness, retention, judgment, and criticism. Round and around. And so triggers. Scramble and neutralize any triggers linking, causing, or initiating non-beneficial patterns or cascades of negative, non-beneficial, adverse, and or inappropriate emotional reactions related to or arising from the following. Being held accountable. Accepting appropriate responsibilities. Encountering appropriate boundaries. Hearing a response of no. Accepting blame or constructive criticism. There we go. We're getting rid of all those negative things. And now we are going to transform all that has been scrambled and neutralized into acceptance and cooperation. There we 
go. Now there's a, the next one is just called other. And so here we're going to work in between the mental layer of the uh, uh, mental layer and body. Um, it says bluish. I would imagine that's a, the color of it. Uh, and it's links to the lower emotional layer. Kind of a layer lobotomy, subtle energy surgery to create an interruption in the energy flow between intractable and undesirable connections. So we are permanently and completely disassociate, unlink, separate, extricate, unentangle, sever and cauterize the following emotional and mental constructs or other connections from sharing energy with one another. Feelings of superiority with self-esteem, objects with protection, abundance with possessions, anxiety with impulse to shop, possessions with safety, shame with need to purchase, loneliness with desire to buy. Permanently and completely associate, link, and co-join the following mental and emotional constructs, allowing free and unobstructed energy flow. Cleanliness with joy. Lack of clutter with peace. Thrift shops with tag sales and dollar stores. To join with absolute neutrality. Impulse to purchase with desire to read. Next, we are going to create appreciation on the emotional layer for spaciousness, cleanliness, cooperation, and compatibility. Now, if there remains any, uh, after these changes and transformations, any voids, hollows, ruts, depressions, or vacuums on any level of being, permanently and completely fill them now with neutral, fifth dimensional, universal life force energy. Invite in the spirits of cooperation, admiration, respect, self-respect appreciation, accountability, and abundance. Let's bring in the spirits of joy, enlightenment, prosperity. And I hereby embed, wrap, seal, and protect these energies and transformations to a level of 100% plus infinity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. There we go. There we go. So uh, that was a hoarding and addictions uh, clearing protocol. Thank you for listening and uh, have a wonderful day.